All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, I did a video up here yesterday. Still up the same spot, but a little different area now. Um, I want to show you a couple things down here, okay? So I know it's hard to see in this camera, but right down here, there is a logging road now. It runs the length of this whole entire ridge, which the ridge goes for a quarter mile or better. And it comes all the way around and it snakes up and it comes up right in that corner right over there where you can kind of see. Um, so there's a lot of scat right down this little area right here. So uh, I realized yesterday when I was doing my video, actually I didn't realize until I got home, my battery died up here and uh, I was trying to show you the trapper's cap. Well, the whole entire part of the video um, kind of didn't take because the battery went dead. So I'm gonna kind of show you now um, how easy this is to use. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday that, you know, you can use it without uh, any like bedding underneath, polyfill, cotton, uh, like screen or whatever you want to put on top of your pan. This, you don't have to use anything. You can, I mean, I do. it depends on if there's already stuff in my trap or not, like polyfill or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bury this trap real quick. I'm gonna show you how easy this is and what it looks like when it's all said and done. Now I'm gonna show you um, right here, there's a trail coming up. Um, it goes all the way right down that logging road. This thing, I've seen deer come up here many times and it goes right across and it ends right over there. So, and then it goes up through the thicket. Now, there is scat. Let me go ahead and show you right here. Now this, is, it is old, okay? But it's, it's all down through here, all the way up there and all the way back that way. So it's, it's here. So this is a good spot. Uh, if you go down here just a little ways, there's another road that cuts to this logging road. So, I mean, it's a good sign. So let me go ahead and bury this trap and I'll show you how this trap cap works. So I've got my trap kind of already set in here where it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and set my trapping um, cap on here. Now this is set only for MB550, okay? The way it's cut out is perfectly for these pans. If it's right over top of it, it will not set your trap off. I mean, it will, I guess, if you accidentally hit it, which I'm not gonna do. But you just put it right on there and slide it all the way up forward. Start doing like that. So all you gotta do is just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right now, like I said, I'm not gonna go into great detail what I'm doing with all the salt. If you want to go back and see why I'm doing all the salt, you know, you can check the video prior to this on trapping. All right, I'm just showing you the cap that's go around. We are going to get some pretty significant snowfall here really, really soon, like uh, less than 24 hours. So I definitely don't want my traps freezing in. See, I can really, I, mean, I can touch the whole entire trap. I could before too, I'm, I'm not worried about getting caught in there. Cause, and it does hurt just a little bit if you get pinched on the side, but you know, other than that, it, I mean, it's just, just a little pinch. Nothing to break your skin or break your fingers or anything. So all you people worried about catching these coyotes or whatever, it doesn't really hurt the animals. I know you've heard that over and over again, but it really doesn't. There's many videos out there to prove that. I'm just bringing this level to the ground. And I'm gonna pull the cap off and show you. All right, well, I'm rock solid now, guys. It's not going anywhere. tight this is the way I like to do it now I like it tight around here so when I pull this off nothing goes up under there and it shouldn't anyway because it's all peat moss but you know see watch bam there you go now what I'll do now is I'll take just a little handful of peat moss and I'll just put it right on the top 
and then just kind of smooth it over. And then finish my finish my dirt. And I'll feather all this out and I'll show you here what it looks like when I'm done. All right guys, that's the finished product right there. So as you see, I've already feathered all of it out. Everything is, nothing's higher than what it needs to be. It looks very normal now. One thing that I started doing, I said in my last video, is I put a stick right there. Now I put it right on the edge here so the coyote actually has to come here, come down here and actually stand right there to whiz on. That's my scent stick, um, scent post stick because they love to pee on the highest spot. So I'm gonna take some coyote pee, I'm gonna put some fox, this is what I've done and it works. Put some fox urine down low and then put some coyote right on the top. Uh, for some reason it drives me crazy and uh, I don't know, it just it just works. And my, my thought process is, you should see this is a bank over here so they actually have to stand right here. They can't stand on that side to pee on the back side. And if they do, they're gonna just flip off the side of the little, little hill right there, which ain't much, but you know, still. Uh, they'll have to come in, like I said, right here, and then stand right here, and then put one leg there, cock the other leg up, and psh, and then got. I'm gonna dig a little hole right there with my piece of rebar, and I'm gonna put some song dog right in there. So, some gland lure. So, hopefully, that'll bring him right in. Like I said, the trail is right there. Come right up here, and that's it. All right, guys, this is wasn't supposed to be a, um, a uh, what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you. Uh, the trapping cap so got a little off topic but anyway the trapping cap makes easy work uh, is it re really necessary no but it, you know it's just another tool in your arsenal guys all right that's gonna conclude today's video guys I hopefully I catch a coyote I didn't catch anything last night which is okay I mean you can't catch them every day if you could what fun would that be so I'm gonna get on out of here guys it's supposed to snow tonight um, and, and sometime into tomorrow two to six inches is what they're calling for um, or more but who knows you know how the weather people are if they if they say they don't know how much they're getting it could be a dusty and it could be a foot so who knows we'll wait and find out guys hopefully these sets will produce and i'll be showing you some coyotes here soon guys if you'd like what you see like and subscribe god bless and we'll see you guys on the next one have a great day tight chains guys